Sam Matavesi, welcome to Forces Sport. Um, it's been a it's been a while since we've caught up with you here at Franklin's Gardens, um, but we have seen you on the Zoom sort of platform during during your COVID outbreak, yeah. obviously in a in a hotel in France on the side of the motorway. But nice to see you in person again. First of all, how are you? You know, how's life? How's life in Northampton? That's yeah, good. Um, yeah, happy. I'm happy. I think the family are happy. We're a lot more settled now. I think it helps that I'm, I'm involved a lot more. So, yeah, it's good. And, you know, you're, do you feel, I mean, when you first arrived here, do you still have to pinch yourself sometimes that this sort of premiership rugby tree dream has, has come to fruition? And not only that, you're, you know, a solid starter in the side. And, you know, we can normally see your name on a team shoot every week. Do you feel like you've really kind of fixed your position here? Yeah, no, I do. I think... Um, after you, you know, when I first came, it was obviously it was tough. I, I was in and out quite a bit. Then I, I got a few starts, and I think if you get a few starts, you know, you get a bit of confidence from the coaches. You can start building, and I think that's that's what I've done like, uh, overall. So, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm happy in, in the environment. I'm, I'm I love it to be fair. At the minute, it's, it's going well. And what do people buy into? They obviously you have to c perform well on the pitch and, and in training. But do they? People have to buy into your personality. They have to buy into that, that possibly that military background as well. Yeah, I think it's, it's very unique, isn't it? I think like sport in, in general, especially rugby, there's a lot of characters that you know are all aiming for, aiming for the, you know for the same goal, which is, is is to win on the weekend. But I think especially in like being in the military, I think you appreciate things a bit more. You know, we're gonna we have a bit have a bit of scrum after this and. It's usually pretty good, it's a lot better than what you get in the galley and people might complain here that you know things aren't good and you're like, well hold on a minute. I don't think you you know, so it's yeah, I think it's I think you're a lot more like you, you appreciate what, what like what you what you're doing a lot more. Like did, I think we're very lucky to do this day to day. So yeah. Northampton is a club and a city and a town or a town rather that is steeped in military history. Yep. You know, down the far end you've got the, the tribute to mobs and all the no, guys yep. that gave their lives. Must, Tim Robber, yep. I'm sure yeah. he's a, a name yeah. from the army of course. No, of but, and not so long ago, Beanie was here as well. Yep. Lewis Beanie is now at Glasgow. Yeah. So, did you find that that was welcoming the fact that there is that military yeah, history? Yeah, hundred percent. It's it's a it's a very proud club in, in terms of its history. Like like you said again, I went like um, before COVID, they, they, they did a lot of things in November for remembrance, and I think they used to play the army once a once a year as well. Um, it helps. There's a lot there's a lot of players, senior players like Tom Wood and Alex Waller are very connected to special forces people in, in Paul, so that, that helps, you know, it's, it's an awesome connection. Can we talk about that? I don't think we can. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on quickly. Yeah, yeah, definitely. No names, yeah. no names. Um, if that red dot from the, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be quiet. And um, just going back to Beanie, I mean, the last time I was here, he was here as well, and you guys had, I mean, I, I use the term affectionately, but a bit of a bromance going on, but, you know, do you, do you miss him? Is it weird without him? <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah, no, we, we clicked, we were like, we were best mates, it was like mine and my wife's Third, very big kid. Um, <laughs> he was around. He was around a lot. He ate all our food and he drank most of the drink. But no, I, I'm, I think he's, he's missed by everyone at the club. You know, like we said a minute ago. But I think the biggest thing with being that he's, he's playing every week up in Glasgow. I think it's good for the army, not so good for us uh, overall. Maybe at the end of April. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's six foot, six foot five, six foot six. I think he's a six, 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 seven. Six, yeah, which is tall for an infanteer. I think, <laughs> I think that's, I think that's his role yeah, yeah. when he's soldiering. He yeah. definitely, he's <laughs> definitely going to stick out. Damn yeah. Yeah. almost as tall you as that chimney yeah. over there. Yeah. Yeah. But obviously, he's a character that's no longer in the changing room. Yeah. What's the changing room like now? Because you are somebody that plays with a smile on your face every yeah. time there's a turnover on the pitch. You're like, you're, you're cheering yeah. and clapping. What I do think, you bring to that changing room? Yeah, I think like, I think a bit happy-go-lucky. I think like we mentioned before, you know, having that, having worked and, and been in the military and having a bit of a different life experience to some of the boys, especially some of the younger boys, I think you appreciate, you know, what we do and appreciate what the Navy allow me to do, you know, every day. Um, yeah, I think yeah, I think you you, you enjoy, enjoy it more. You wake up, come into work, pretty happy. You know, there's there's things that you don't like doing. You know, there's mauling when it's wet, cold, raining. But you much rather be doing that than potentially at sea or you know in, a, 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 away at war. You know, so yeah, I think what we're doing, we're, we're very lucky. And what are the characters here like at Northampton? Can you say too much? <laughs> Paul Hill is a very weird bloke. <laughs> 
I feel like you've been paid to say yeah, that. Yeah, but no, no, it's true. It's true. He, he's a character. Um, there's, there's loads. Like, there's loads of characters. Paul, but Paul Hill would be the main, be the main one. I mean, you, you grew up playing your rugby in Cornwall, and of course, you know, the post-match song was something that was big in the clubhouse. What do you guys do? And that was part of the team's bonding. Yeah. What do you guys do here? I cannot. To, to I, I cannot tell you. No, okay, <laughs> no, that's fair enough. Might get in a bit of trouble. <laughs> but is it, there's a song. But the, the song, okay. the, the song might get a bit. Gets a bit of trouble. Okay. So there is still that tradition of. of yeah. Singing. There's a team song, and I think. It, it, we look forward to it. you know you you, you want to win you want to put a performance and then you want to get in the changing room have a beer and, and and sing the team song but I can't say what the team song that's, is. That's fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Players only. Players yeah, yeah. Only. Players Let's only. write it down. Yeah. Um, talking about characters and um, some of the you know big names currently at the moment people like Dan Biggers in the uh, in the changing room, but what are the likes of having someone like Dan Bigger in in the changing room to not only to play at Northampton but to, but to ask about internationals as well. Yeah, he, uh, he's like. In in our squad, you know, he's like the quarterback. He, he's the leader, and I think that's why he he plays for plays and starts for the Lions. You know, like Court. I think Courts is a bit different. You know, Court speaks with with his actions. I think Biggs obviously speaks with his actions, but he he's our presence on the field. Where you know he, he's the one that's doing a lot of talking, a lot of the, the hard decision making. I think you 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 want to you want to be like people like that. You know, you want to learn, and like we said, you want to take that sort of, of of what you learn from him in, into account with with the Navy when when we join up. From this week, you'll be um, joining up with the Fijian squad. Um, how different does that look at the moment, given the sort of geographical logistics of, of where Fiji is and, and the players that are already based here? Yeah, it's, it's tough. So we've got only players that are in the Northern Hemisphere can be picked. So we've got 28 players, like, so it's quite a, quite a small squad. And then we've got all, all of our backroom staff and coaches are from the Northern Hemisphere as well. So it's going to be new, very, very new. But I think... That's what makes Fijians. I don't think many teams would do it, you know, leave their head coaches and everyone else at home and then go and go and play three tests with people that they've never worked with before. Um, I think the biggest thing is trying to put yourself in positions where you're not comfortable. I think, you know, we can help them grow with that. But I think the, the biggest thing is, yeah, we're, we're going to play some rugby, you know, as Fijians against Spain, Wales and, and Georgia, which is what, what we want to do. It does, yeah, and when you, you say that, it's sort of Fijians being adaptable, but also when you guys were in that horrible COVID <laughs> sort of situation last year, the, the feeling generally was like, I don't, I don't, we just want to play rugby, and that's kind of where you're at at the moment. Yeah, yeah of course. Um, I, I don't know, obviously, that there's, a, there's been a, a lot of work upon the scenes that, that's, that's gone into it to find coaches that are, are available. It's not just coaches, so our um, head physio, Matt Lee, is going to come with the Fijians for, for 10 days. And he asked me what it was going to be like. I said it's going to be experience. <laughs> so yeah, and it, it will it will be. It's it's very it's very different, and I think that's that's what helps you grow as a person. So yeah, it, it's going to be very interesting. Unfortunately, this chat we're having with you will go out after probably one of your biggest games, club-wise, of the season, yeah. and that's against your nearest rivals, Leicester. Yeah. What is that big game atmosphere like in the lead-up, in the build-up? Mm. You were talking there uh, yeah. uh, about atmosphere, but. Uh, are you beginning to, to, to sense yeah, it now? I think the, the coaches they do very well because you know it's pointless wasting a lot of energy emotionally and physically at the start of the week because we're not going to play until Saturday. But I think when we see we, we, we've worked hard Monday, we worked hard today, so tomorrow's off Wednesday. Then we're in Thursday to like sharpen the, the, the blade, and that'd be real, real fast. There, there isn't a there's, there isn't a lot of room for mistakes in that Thursday session, so everyone's like pretty switched on, and everyone should know what what the plan is. Then I think from Thursday. You know, into Friday, it will definitely be on on the emotional side because it's it's, it's a local derby and it's massive. You know, this is, this place is going to be packed. You know, Saturday afternoon rugby, Leicester here, who, who are also at like the top of the league. So yeah, massive massive game. And that's why you play professional rugby or rugby anyway. Yeah, yeah. For that, I think yeah, you'd be happy if, if I was if I was in Cornwall playing for, for playing at my local club, Camborne, against a local you know a, a rival. But yeah, having maybe sixteen thousand people that are, are going to be in here pretty loud I'm, I'm going to guess against a team that yeah are, are our you know, fiercest rivals that are actually at the minute going very well as an individual how do you control those emotions then is there something that you can rely on you say to yourself to yeah. calm yourself i think i for, for me personally is i it's, it's it's the reps you know it's knowing what i've got to do off off a lot a lot of the plays and what i'm involved in and then i think after that is set piece because if the lineup's not very good Usually we get the blame for it, and also the scrum. And I think if you watch Leicester, you know this, this last four games, their set piece has been awesome. You know they, they, they've scored the most more tries, I think. So we've got a massive job. And then after that, if I can get those things right, then you can start 
being feeling confident in carrying, tackling, and and all, all the small bits that, that add to it. What's the sports psychology like around moments like that? Because you've played in big fixtures before. I'm thinking against France out in yeah, France. Yeah, um, I think for, for for me, it's it's in the week. It's, it's having the reps. It's feeling confident in the in, with the calls with Dave, like Dave Ribbons, the second row. You know, he calls a line out, so we need a connection. And then, you know, like we said before, I think you know you've seen like. I've sort of taken on a role with, with with Luds the skipper, but he's gone away with England, and me and him are like the, we, 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 you know, we try and keep the energy and keep everyone going. You know, we, we celebrate everything just, just just to try and get the boys, you know, on. So he's away this week, which is, is great for him, not, not not great for us. So I think that's going to be a lot more me, you know, a, a lot more talking and, and just just trying to make sure we're we're on. And is there anything from your navy training that you can hark back on that helps you in these big fixtures? Uh, yeah, I, th I just think you know, in the navy, you know, you're, you're, you're you're taught for to, you know to cope with different things in, in different environments. I think it, it helps there. You know, not not many things that I'm going to see on Saturday. I'm going to get phased by, you know, other than if I, if, you know, I need to get my own stuff right first in terms of set piece. If I can get that right, then I think I can help you know help the team in, in other ways. And does that um, does the feeling ahead of a big game like Saturday? Does that match up to the same feeling you get for a big game with Fiji? Is it, is it just a different level, or is it kind of do you deal with it in the same way? Yeah, it's all, all the same. I think you know, I don't think you can sort of pick games to try and you know if if, if you can't get ready for, for Leicester here on Saturday, then I don't think you're in the right place or or, or the right job. So so I think yeah, it's it, it, like for, for me, it's it's all start it's all start of the week. If I can get myself right, you know, and I, I'm confident on Thursday, Friday. Especially for the team run, if I'm happy in what I'm doing, then you know it's on Saturday. It's all me. Now, I like Saturday because it's a three o'clock kickoff, so there's not much time, you know, to think about things. You just you pretty much wake up, have some food, and you're into it. Whereas last Friday, it's like we played quarter to eight, so you've got all day to sort of get wake up, and you know, then you're thinking, have I slept too much? Have I slept enough? Not enough. What do I eat? Do I eat too much? Too less? So that's a problem. You never eat too much. <laughs> no, no, no. You can't. You won't be moving. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no, they're the same. So I think. It's, it's the same routine for Army Navy, well, for, for any, any Navy games, for any Fiji games, or for any Saints games. This is a beautiful setting. Yeah. Have you got a, a, a favourite ground, or is there a ground that you've yet to play at that you'd love to? The ground that I've yet to play at is the Millennium Stadium, which hopefully I get selected on the 14th of November against Wales. Yeah, and we can smash bigs and. Yeah. <laughs> Does he know? He knows. I, I've told. I've told. Him. He's got yeah, a number that, yeah. coming for you. Yeah, that would be a really nice matchup with with you guys there. And I'm, you know, uh, what is it about the Millennium Stadium that you want? I think I've, I've watched. I watched my older brother play two games there in the 2015 World Cup. I think you watch watch it on TV. You know, it's it's the atmosphere, isn't it? You know, it's the proud Welsh people that you know are singing singing at the anthem. That if the if the roof shut, you know, it just creates it a bit more. So hopefully, a shut for us on the 14th of November, like nice and dry. <laughs> And what are you hoping, I mean, it's obvious, what are you hoping to get from the three games, but what do you realistically hope you can get from the three games? I think, you know, we, we want three wins. You know, it's, it's going to be a big ask for, for the, you know, because it's new yeah. with a small squad. But I think if we're, be, we're being realistic, you know, we need to, to start growing. And I think from the World Cup in 2019, you know, we played Australia, you know, we played very well for 60 minutes. We didn't quite have, it, have enough. And then we went and lost to Uruguay the next game. Now, if we're very serious about getting better and being in the top 10, top eight, we need to to beat Spain with, with the performance. And then we need to go to Wales and, and, and play for 80 minutes. And then it's a come not come down again, but then you know we've got to get back to Spain and then play Georgia. So yeah, it's, it's three massive challenges. And Spain and Georgia are very different teams and po possibly Wales are somewhere in the middle with both the heavyweights and the, and the backs as well. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is for, for Spain, you know, we're going to play in Spain. I don't think anyone's played in Spain before. So it's the first time Fiji have played Spain in Spain. And it's new. Like They're, they're, they're not going to have any footage on us. We're not going to have any footage on them. So it's going to be how much can we get right in our camp. And then we're going to be able to watch New Zealand against Wales, you know, as, as for, for, for things to watch and, you know, what can we get better at. And then, yeah, we go, we go back to Spain for Georgia. So it's, it's, it's three... Three massive tests, but three different tests in, in their own right. As the, as the line-out guy, you, know, you are one of the pivots on the pitch to help influence a fixture. Do you feel confident to use your voice in the Fijian changing room? I, yeah, I think it's, it's tough because I, I love that, you know, where I'm, where I'm from, where my, dad, my dad's from, where he was born, and, you know, that I'm, I'm a very proud Fijian, but I don't speak Fijian, so you feel a bit, 
you're not on the back foot because you know I, I'm, I'm very welcomed and com comfortable in the environment but I feel yeah I'm, I'm happy to speak up and you know, if things aren't aren't quite right or you know that if I could potentially help in a way yeah then I think the biggest thing for us moving forward in this camp is that there's a group of players that have been together for a while, but the coaches are new. You know, there's just a, sh a short time, so I think the the better we can come together as a, as a group, you know, and yeah, it's, it's going to help us. So you're strutting your stuff on the pitch here with Saints, doing what you can with Fiji. Of course, then the big one next year, Inter Services. Yeah, your massive. thoughts ahead of what will be the return of Inter Services rugby? Uh, I, I, can't, I can't wait. Personally, um, I think I think it's massive. I think you know. As services, as armed forces, I think we need it. I think it's a, it's a big event in the calendar, you know, around all sports. Um, and I think it's, it's, it's a sort of change in the guard now. I think, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of top players that have played in the past that maybe have finished now and retired um, on, on, on all three teams. So I, th I think there's a chance for a, a new group of people to sort of step up and, and, and make it their own for the next five or ten years. You've got your name on the score sheet for, for Northampton scoring a try. Um, a, can you, you know, do remember it? <laughs> <laughs> well, also, would you like, obviously, would you like to do the same for Fiji and also possibly do that at Army Navy just to get on Beanie's back? Because yeah. he's been scoring tries yeah, for Yeah, it breaks me. No, he's, he's, he's doing real well. I think, yeah, um, obviously, you want to score, but, you know, I, I think I've gone a bit more past that now. It's, it's amazing. And, you know, you, you, want, you want the ball, you, you want to get over the line. But, yeah, I think I, I've sort of. That was good when I was 18, 19, 20, where I was playing in the back row and a bit different. Now, I prefer if, if we've got a scrum penalty or, or something like that, I, I'd, I'd be just as happy with. But I don't know where I'm going to play with the, with the Navy yet. Me and Paco had that discussion, so... Not yeah, to do a new. disservice at all to the Royal Air Force, because people forget that it's a three-way yeah, no, tournament. No, of course, yeah, and they but won I, it in my first, my first season. Of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. I, I, but I just wonder what Army Navy Day is like for you, because you're yeah. a proud Cornwallian. <laughs> I think that's the is it Cornwallian? Cornish now, Cornishman. Cornishman, yeah. Cornishman. 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 Yeah. You, you, you were though, Jules. Well, there we go. <laughs> and do busloads of, uh, of your Royal Navy mates come up from yeah, the South West? Yeah, massive. Yeah. yeah. So obviously, I, I, when, I, when I first passed out of rally, I went to Cold Rose. And yeah, the, the, there's, I don't know, six, seven buses that, you know, relieve Cold Rose. I think they have a, what's it called? A breakfast? Like a champagne a bre breakfast? Oh, well, is yeah. It? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think they just get very <laughs> drunk from, from Cold Rose all the way up to Twickenham. And then they, they, they meet at Fleet, don't they? Is it fleet services? I've not been part of that. We're already at the yeah, uh, yeah. So they meet. At, I think all the buses, if they're coming from that, that way, they meet at fleet. And uh, yeah, it's, I think the biggest thing is the people that I went through rally with and that I've worked with. You know, they, they'll be like, oh, good luck. You know, you haven't spoke to them in a, you know a few months, a few years maybe. But then they come over navy. Everyone's like, oh, all the best. You know, we're, we're coming with X, Y, Z, or we're there for here. And, you know, and I think. Um, You'd be surprised how many people go and watch it because obviously it's a great event, isn't it? It's, it's, un it's unbelievable. And I well, it sounds like those at Fleet Services are already soaking up the atmosphere. <laughs> yeah. But you as a player, do you get the chance to, to, to enjoy the yeah, moment? Yeah, I, I, I love it. Yeah. I think because, because but I think it's, it's the end to like, a, not a long in the services, but it's, a, it's an end to like what everyone's built up for, you know, and that isn't any respect off from the RAF, but you know, we're very lucky that we get to play the Army and Navy at Twickenham in front of 82,000 people. And it's, it's surreal. You know, we we've had um, Matt Jess, who's you know played X amount of games for for X to turn the Premiership, and you know obviously people like uh, in camp with us, you know helped us. And he said that you know he's played all these games in the Prem, but he's never played at, at you know at HQ in front of eighty two thousand people. So people are very we're very lucky, we're very privileged. And I think to, to to have that as as the finale is is, is unreal. And yeah, you because we go up to the Lensbury on Wednesday, so we we'll, we'll spend Monday Tuesday in um, Fort Blockhouse and then we'll go to the, and it's just Glamour. like <laughs> from Fort Blockhouse to Lensbury <laughs> yeah. they're and twinned aren't they yeah, and everyone's like oh the, the food obviously no, no, yeah. it's the, the food no, again yeah, yeah, yeah. it's no offence to the, uh, <laughs> the food at Blockhouse but oh, I thought you were going to say the Lensbury <laughs> <laughs> the Lensbury's unreal uh, yeah and then I think the, the, I'm not sure what the army do but the navy um, they you know we have like a thing on a Friday night where it's just the players you know, we give up the awards for best trainer worst trainer all the funny stories in camp and it's something you look forward to and I think we've been very lucky we've had is it Jason Fox no Foxy the the oh the um SOS guy SAS SAS SOS what is it Bill uh for the it's Fox who's yeah, yeah. yeah so he's he's came he in on a few occasions he's, he's, he's done a few chats on Friday he's handed out some shirts and like a few of the awards 
it's, it's, a, it's a real good event and I love it. And then all our families are allowed to come up on, on the Friday. So, you know, you get a real, a real feel for it. It's, 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 a, it's, a, great, it's a great time. Real Lensbury's good time. one of those hotels that you feel you have to take your shoes off. Yeah, them. it does. Well, that's where, that's well, where England have been training. Yeah. So you tell how good it is. You mentioned yeah. family. That's really important to you, isn't yeah. it? So you know, have you got much family back in, in Cornwall? Yeah, all, 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 my, all my mum's family are in Cornwall. Loads of cousins, aunties, uncles. Um, my wife's family, not most of them, but it's quite a few that are in Cornwall. So yeah, it's Cornwall's home f for me, that's definitely. But the um, biggest thing that happened to some of you, one of your family members, of course, your your brother, um, his move out to Japan. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's that's chasing, huge for he's him. He's chasing the yen, wasn't yeah. he? <laughs> <laughs> no. it's, yeah. Well, it, he does it's talk about the money. He's very honest. It's a short. Yeah. It's a short career. It is, yeah. And like, yeah. yeah, and all the, I, I think, but, you know, he's. It's real. We've sort of done like a 360 because I obviously the 2015 World Cup. I was playing for Campbell in Southwest Two, or you know, and he, I was I was going up to watch him in you know World in the opening of World Cup and World Cup games, and then to play with him in the 2019 World Cup where he was like a senior player, but I was starting every every game, so we sort of like really reverse roles, and then like now he's retired, and then I'm I'm still in in Fiji camp and you know still still here, so. I think he got 23 caps and I'm maybe like five or six off him. So I want to beat his caps for a start. That's a, that's the biggest I'm thing. Coming for you, bro. Yeah, yeah. but he, he, I think to have someone so close that, you know, has, has experienced all, all the top leagues and he, he's been there. And like you said, he was very honest, you know, it is a short career and, you know, he's played in the Prem before with Worcester, he's played with Bath. I think when he played, he, he, he was exceptional. And now he had a chance to go and go and earn some real good money in, in Japan. What's your relationship like with your brother? Yeah, have we're, you, we're have very you close. Together? We haven't. We we haven't. We, we did at Toro College. Obviously, we did for Fiji, but it was very very much on and off. So, but to see him in like a in a, a cat in like a the, the, the top environment, if that makes sense, you know, he was he was a proper leader, which was something that I, I looked up to him for. So, who's influenced your game the most? Would you say? I said, I think for all of us, it'd be our, our dads. You know, our, our dad. Sorry. Yeah, he <laughs> was. He? Yeah, we, we got eight now. Yeah, we got eight teams. Yeah. Um, no, he like. Yeah, rugby is is and always will. Be, you know, I love I love rugby. I'm very lucky like, lucky enough to do, do it as a job. You know, but I, I do it now if you know if I was at Cold Rose or a, anywhere. Um, and then I think people that have, you know, people at Camel Rugby Club that were when we were younger, people at the Pirates, yeah, people at the Navy that have worked real hard to, to allow me to do this. Um, yeah, ev everyone plays a, a, a part, don't they? Do you have to put your hand in your pocket when you go into Camel? Yeah, there a beer yeah. already yeah. I think there's, there's usually a beer there, but then I have to get the next <laughs> uh, eight rounds now. <laughs> everyone chips in. And closer to home, your your wife and your kids are often at your games here, and that's that's important as well that they've sort of bought into the the professional rugby life as no, well. Yeah, I think like you know, most people, if it's happy, if it's happy at home, it's usually happy, you know, happy at work or wherever you are. I think that goes for people in the navy, people that are away working in all armed forces. But yeah, I think especially as a club here, you know, that everyone's very good. You know, they're very lucky that they get to come here and you know watch watch games. <laughs> My daughter came on on, fr on Friday and. Uh, she sat down apparently, she took out her iPad, put her headphones on and that, that was her. Well, she was, ten, she was ten tries. She was zero <laughs> interested in what happens at rugby, which is, I, I, think it's, I think it's amazing. Yeah, it's so good. Definitely. She missed every single try. She, she had no interest. I thought, oh, rugby, okay. iPad out. But that's just children for you. Yeah, it is, it? yeah, yeah. Does that help keep you grounded? Yeah, I think, like, I said to her, do you, say, do you like rugby? No. I said, that's what I do for a, for a job <laughs> at the minute. Uh, no, she doesn't like it. So, but I think she likes, um, she thinks I'm famous because I'm on YouTube. Which is bizarre. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I've no we idea. We were on there once, weren't we? <laughs> yeah. This goes on YouTube. Yeah, so, so yeah, yeah. Well, even well, well, more famous. I well. feel like I should have worn a yellow. I know. I've, I've You're not out got of the, sync there, Jules. Yeah, just <laughs> that. Good luck for. Thank you very much. Good luck Appreciate for, it. Thank for you not just for you. Saturday, but for, you know, for the entire season. Yeah. It's been great seeing you. Was it Wasps you scored that? Uh, yeah. Launch? That was that a great 50 try. meter break, wasn't <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, that the first. chip, and yeah, then yeah. that try. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was fantastic. Are you adapting to the new new rules and not just in on the pitch, but in, in training as well? The limited uh, amount yeah. of contact that you're allowed. Yeah, I think I think people are smart. I think you know you know if you need it, mass, but we don't actually do a, a, a great deal anyway. Uh, it's an actual bone on bone, and if you do, it's very it, it's very conditioned, you know. And I think sometimes. Yeah, I think it's it's tough. I think it's tough for people making the decisions. It's tough for people doing it. But you know, you, you need for for that for front row. You you need live shots in the week. Personally, you know that's that's bone on bone. Um, and yeah, I think it, it's sort of it's, it's got it's, it's gone away. Is you know every every session we're trying to kill each other because you're not. You know, I think all the detail at this level. If you can't tackle, then you shouldn't really be. 
you know here but so it's it's more it's more in in the detail and, and doing things that are a, a fast pace so, so to speak i mean it seems like the scrum machine jack was saying you could only spend 15 minutes a week or something yeah. on that on that which seems crazy given that how many scrums you have to do yeah. but but it's all about protecting you long term yeah yeah and it's it's it's, it's for the best I, I i do really think but then i think there needs to be some hold on you know if we go out touch on Saturday and we miss 50 tackles then we should be doing a bit of tackling on in the weekly and up to I think it's just it's getting the balance isn't it well look I'm so glad you're loving and still smiling yeah, always I think yeah. even your team photo you can't see your eyes you're smiling <laughs> so much it's brilliant it's uh, it, it, it's so joyful to see you play and, and to see you enjoy playing so much and like Jules says good luck for the autumn internationals good luck for any Northampton games you go on to play, but and we look forward to seeing you in services next Thank year. Thank you very much. And now you can sing us out with your song. <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.